Hello, I'm Serena Nelson, and I've been knitting for about five years. I knit for family and friends and a little for myself. Um, recently, I've taken to entering some of my knitted projects in the local state fair and have actually even won some awards for it. Today, I'm going to demonstrate the basket weave stitch. Now, the basket weave stitch is a combination of purl and knit stitches within a row uh, over a set number of rows. And what I mean by that is in this particular basket weave pattern, I've done four purl stitches, four knit stitches, followed by four purl stitches, four knit stitches, four purl stitches, four knit stitches, and so on. And I have done it over four rows. And you can, this, so this basket weave is um, done with, like I said, four knit, four purl, which is a multiple of eight. But you can design your own basket weave pattern to however you see fit. You could do five and five. You could do uh, five knit stitches, three purl stitches, five knit stitches, three purl stitches. So you can get creative with your basket weave depending on the look you want to uh, accomplish. One nice thing about the basket weave is it is a reversible stitch. It looks the same on both the front and the back. So to do the basket weave, once again, you're just going to do a series of knit stitches and purl stitches. And you're going to start out on this particular row. The stitches that are flat and look like a V are going to be your knit stitches. So um, those stitches were knit. The ones that are more ridged were your purl stitches. So I have completed four rows, one, two, three, four, of knit stitches here. So now I am going to start my four rows of purl stitches to reverse that pattern. So what's going to start up here is going to be what is down here. If that makes sense. Once you start doing it, you'll kind of get the, get the hang of it. So I'm actually going to purl here. So I'm going to take my needle. And once again, just as a purl stitch, you keep your yarn to the front and you wrap it around. And you're going to do your four purl stitches. And then these had been purl stitches on the prior four rows, so now these are going to become knit stitches. So I'm going to knit those four stitches. Same thing here. These had been my knit stitches on the prior four rows. So these are going to become my purl stitches now because I am just reversing the pattern. So you do a set number of rows. In this case, like I said, it was four rows of one pattern. And then you're going to do your uh, next row, next four rows will just be the reverse of that. So I've created that row, and now I'm going to turn it over, and I'm going to stick with that pattern. So this is going to be a purl row, and I'm just going to continue into that pattern. So now I've done two of the four rows in the reverse pattern, and you can see your pattern starting to form here where it's changing from the uh, knit to the purl. And you'll just continue on, and that will be your basket weave stitch. 
Once again, I'm Serena, and I've just demonstrated the basket weave stitch on how to knit a scarf.